Thank you. The floor is yours. Mandy, please start recording. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Nadia. We are working on work package 4.8, uh, task number one. The title of my uh, PhD project is the changes in cells exposed to uh, alpha radiation uh, from radio in combination with airborne particles under the supervision of Louis Alonhon, uh, Andre Voshik, and Karen Elin at the Stockholm University. In this project, we will evaluate the interaction between radon, cigarette smoke, and nanoparticles in terms of inducing lung cancer, and also we will assess the modulatory effects of hormones. Uh, before starting, just giving you a, a brief uh, summary about uh, lung cancer, as you all know better than me. Lung cancer is divided into two main um, categories, a small cell lung cancer, which is less frequent but more aggressive, and non-small cell lung cancer, which is more frequent, and it is divided into three uh, subtypes adenocarcinoma, which are mostly originated from the cells that secretes uh, mucus in the alveoli, so you can see it in the outer part of the lung. Squamous cell carcinoma, which are uh, mostly uh, originated from the cells, uh, called squamous cells lining inside the airways, uh, and you can see it in the central part of the lung. And large cell carcinoma, which uh, can be found anywhere in the lung, and they are the one that has a fast growth and can spread real easily. The aim of this project, as I said before, is to investigate the interaction between radon smoking and nanoparticles in inducing lung cancer, both alone and in combination. And in the meanwhile, we are also um, assessing the modulatory effects of hormones. In this part, we are focusing on nicotine uh, because uh, one of the agents in cigarette smoke that makes us addicted to it and uh, exists in e-cigarettes uh, is nicotine. Actually, uh, studies have shown that nicotine can play an important role in inducing lung cancer, and some studies have uh, claimed that nicotine can induce DNA damage. So we will um, uh, we will investigate the interaction of radon, nicotine, estrogen, and androgen, uh, both alone and in combination, in inducing uh, lung cancer. For this part of the project, we are waiting for some facilities to be delivered. Actually, we have most of the facilities for uh, cell exposure system, but uh, we needed to deliver some of them like a smoking machine and mixing chamber uh, and I think they will be delivered soon uh, so uh, just giving you a brief information this is a cell exposure system that there are some chambers there so the cells that are already seated on a specific um, uh, wells uh, on membrane they will be put here and then uh, the lid will be closed and they will be exposed to the agent that we want through the air and maybe you uh, might ask why we are interested in hormones. Uh, actually, there are several reasons, but some of them, like uh, women are more likely to uh, get a lung cancer induced by radiation. But uh, in terms of cigarette smoking, it seems that uh, it, cigarette smoke alleviates the difference. Uh, but the mechanism is not understood. And also another important reason is that uh, estrogen and androgen receptors exist in lung cells. And there has been shown that there is a link between overexpression of these receptors and lung cancer. So it will be interesting to include hormones. And uh, why nanoparticles? Because uh, as you know, nanoparticle inhalation can cause lung injury, can lead to uh, some types of lung diseases. So it would be also interesting to see if there's any interaction between nanoparticles, radon, and smoking. The methods that we are using in this uh, project, uh, there are several methods. I just listed the primary one, uh, like cell viability, collagenic survival, gene expression, apoptosis senescence. We will also assess the inflammatory markers, DNA double strand breaks, and epigenetic modifications, and so on. And the possible follow-up studies uh, might include a chronic exposure of cells to uh, alpha radiation, as we have the facility, and application of a number of other chemicals like nicotine um, metabolite as well as uh, verifying these results with gamma radiation. So the significance of this project uh, will um, to have a better uh, mechanistic understanding of uh, cancer associated with um, exposure to radon, smoke, uh, and uh, nanoparticles. I'm sorry for being this fast because of limitation of time, and thanks for your listening. Thank you very much.